Is Lumi Legacy really fair to the average player? Let's find out. In this video, we're going to be looking at this from the perspective of a new player who has just started playing today without any events, any tutorials, guides, or robux. So how many Lumians do you think you could actually get by doing this? Let's find out. This video goes to show how important tutorials and guides are when it comes to Lumian Legacy YouTube. So let's start off. First of all, if you're a new player and you don't have any robux, you might as well consider the 18 other starters that you need to catch for the Lumipedia completely obsolete. Now let's start out in Lumipedia order. First off, we have Sumo Bito. In order to get Sumo Bito, you need to catch yourself a Propay and then evolve it with the Worm Rope. Now, how do you get the Worm Rope? Well, you have to fish it up at a rare chance in any of the Lot of Sun Beach water. Then, it doesn't tell you how to actually evolve it or what Lumin it even goes to. Next is Terra Claw. In order to get Terra Claw, you need to have your Garbantis use a move that will actually get yourself the Molted Claw. First off, how is anybody supposed to know that you're supposed to get the Molted Claw from that? I sure wouldn't, and then from there you actually need to figure out which Lumion that this Molted Claw goes to, if even any, and then once you put it on a Cornucopia, it'll evolve into a Terra Claw. Next up is a little bit of an iffy one, as we have Gekko and Amphiton. Now, you could technically make the argument that, yes, you know, the Thunderfruit does say that it is able to evolve certain Lumions, however, it never tells you what specific Lumions actually evolve with this fruit. And the Lumions that these would evolve into would, of course, be Eligoana and Metatoad. So if you're playing through the game and you never really give a second thought to the Thunderfruit, you will never be able to evolve both Gekko and Amphiton. Next up, we have Chartiki and Krakaloa. The normal player is not going to realize that you need both a Kabunga and a cradle to actually trade with each other in order to evolve both of these Lumians. Also with this, we have Waka Laka, which is a Halloween exclusive Lumian that you also need an item for. And again, Halloween event is only for a month. Next up, we have Ursnack. Ursnack, again, being an event exclusive Lumian. Same goes with Festifer and the Christmas Cradle. The Christmas Cradle, you also need an evolution item to even evolve, so you can't really get that unless if it's Christmas time. Secondly, going on the Christmas theme still, we have Icy Goo. Icy Goo is also a Christmas exclusive Lumion. Next up, it is going to be Ferroglyph, and I would include Pyramine on this, however, it does tell you as soon as you obviously unlock Pyramine and your mastery, that it can be found roaming out in the wild. So there's that. However, Ferroglyph, it doesn't really tell you how to evolve. In order to actually evolve it, you need to get yourself an Ancient Scepter, which can only be found either in high-level mastery, or by going to the Battle Coliseum and winning enough battles to buy yourself one. Next up is Stratosaur. Now, in order to actually get a Stratosaur, you need a Wimp with a perfect bond. Now you can do this by running around inside of the overworld, battling with it, etc. However, the normal player is not going to know how to do that without the use of tutorials and guides. Now for a little bit of a lightning round, we have these sweet retreat lumens that you cannot currently get. That being, Cupwing, Haganosh, Mochibi, Totomochi, Mocho, Gworm, Odasho, Spreezy, Sinabu, Sinogre, Swirl, Swishy, Fiskarna, Bumpuff, Baneki, Dractus, Furtress, and Seadrake. Also Nymeray. Next up, we're going to be getting into the Vari territory, as Vari, yes, you can get it after level 9, and it does tell you that it's roaming out in the wild, however, how are you supposed to know how to evolve it into anything but a Servolan? Wendelin, you need to evolve it by having it faint in Hiowa Cemetery. Kirillin, you need to evolve a Petrolith with the Vari in your party. Zephylin, you need to evolve it under Strong Gusted Wind. Venolin, you need to have it sleep inside of the Junkyard. Wrestlin, you need to have it evolve by knocking out the Heavy Bag at Gym Rat. Buzzlin, you need to have it evolve by having a Happy Florence Pollen stick onto the Vari and then checking its happiness Tendralin, obviously, Christmas Evolution. Pyrolin, you need to evolve it by placing a piece of coal or a mystic wand while standing on a lava rock in Igneous Hollow. Next up, we have the Halloween Lumians, which are going to consist of Sparivi, Idohus, Carvasex, Volpup, Halvantic, Impkin, Grimmick, Imperior, Nevermare, Metronet, and Gargolem. And finishing off some of the Christmas stuff from earlier, we have Snow, Stricicle, Wintrix, Wobblisk, and Oculus. And also, whatever new batch of Christmas Illumines we're going to be getting soon. You could also make the argument that a lot of the roamings the average player will never get due to their insanely high odds. However, there is some that I would like to highlight that are not really possible to get for, again, the average player. The first of which being Mudagon. In order to get Mudagon, you need to find the secret codes hidden around Pollute Corp and obviously the underground Pollute Corp area, then go down, complete a puzzle, and fight Mudagon. Again, without tutorials, 
not many people are actually gonna get this. Next up, we have Cosmere. Again, Cosmere is locked to its own event, so unless if you play during that event, you are not going to be able to get it. Next up is going to be Elephage. You have to go on a wild goose chase of finding certain items, giving them to certain people, going all over Atlantean City in order to actually get into the closet, where then you have to play a mini game and then finally get Elephage. However, it gets worse when you get Elephage's second form, Fagnot, which is just hidden inside of Sephirite City. Yes, you actually need to go find a just random secret area inside of the game and then go complete a Tetris minigame in order to have it evolve. Also, you need to have it inside of your party. All right, now for the final one, which is kind of just something that I just now thought of, but that is going to be Coppling, Copperash, and Oxydrake. In order to actually get Coppling, you need to have yourself a magnet. And in order to get the magnet, you need to go into Pollute Corp and then kill a bunch of Scorbs, get the magnet, then backtrack all the way to Route 3, go inside of the mines, and pull the little metal things out from the wall. Again, how a player is supposed to do this, I have no idea. Alright, so before I continue guys, this is obviously this entire video is not meant to be kind of a hate thing towards the developers. I'm not sitting here, um, oh I'm so angry that the developers decided to make this Lumion evolve a certain way. I'm just saying that I think some of the evolution methods are definitely a little weird. And my entire point of making this video is to basically just show that a lot of these new players that are coming into Lumion Legacy are not receiving the same amount of opportunities that regular players are receiving. I do think that, you know, and I hope that in the future a lot of these event exclusive Lumions like Volpup, like Holvantic and all that stuff, will will actually be in some area inside of Lumion Legacy, and they won't be locked to an event, because I think locking a lot of these Lumions to events is definitely hurting the game, because we have almost just by itself, like 60, 50-ish Lumions, I think, that are just purely event exclusive. And these Lumions being locked to these events is also affecting players who cannot get their mastery done, and obviously, you know, you can go out there and trade for them, but the average player who, again, is not going to be sitting there and trading all day is probably not going to get that. And my other point for creating this video is to really highlight how important YouTubers are inside of Lumion Legacy. You know, a lot of the people that I make videos alongside with, you know, are Minty, uh, Jamie, you know, Conal, I poke in the past, I guess. And again, just a lot of these YouTubers take a lot of their time to make some of these tutorials so people can learn how to actually get these Lumions. And I think it's really important that we take the time and appreciate some of these YouTubers who are actually creating these tutorials and helping out the community. And of course, I would like to provide a possible solution in the future as to how the Lumion Legacy developers could kind of update this to help out some players. First off, I think doing something like this, where if you go inside of, you know, your Lumion screen right here, and putting maybe a Thunderfruit icon right here, right? Being like, oh, this Lumion has a special relationship with this item. Maybe, you know, some players seeing that, they would be like, oh, okay, maybe I have to give this to my Gekulo, and maybe it would evolve from that. I think something like that would definitely be very beneficial to some new players who get these Lumions and don't really know what to do with the items to actually evolve it. Another thing the Lumion Legacy developers could do would be to actually start updating some of these Lumion descriptions. There are tons and tons of these Lumions in here that don't have any descriptions that I definitely think could help into, you know, the player's kind of mind as to, oh, okay, this is how this Lumion could possibly evolve. For Vari, for example, you know, again, th this is real. Like, Vari does not have any dex entry. You could possibly put something in there that, oh, Vari, you know, has eight different forms or something like that. And that would kind of, you know, tell players, oh, okay, this Lumion can evolve into all of these different types of things. Let me go experiment and see if I can get any of those. I don't know, something like that I definitely think would be interesting. Uh, again, a lot of these Lumions, though, just do not have any dex entries and... Lumion Legacy devs, I think you need to start updating them. Anyways, those are my thoughts, though. I definitely hear your guys' thoughts about it down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.